President William Ruto is now warning that he will soon name and shame civil servants in government that he says are being used to undermine his office. Well, speaking in Meru, Ruto and his allies continued to pile pressure on what they termed as the system to stop meddling in politics. And as Stephen Latour reports, a section of Kieleweke also want the DP to stop undermining independent offices. <laughs> The one steady Jubilee Tower is fast crumbling down with fault lines increasingly visible. <laughs> Deputy President William Ruto firing right inside the government he sits in, accusing some civil servants of being used to block his way to State House in 2022. Makarani na mabroka, ambao wanakwenda kwa magavana, wanaenda kwa wabunge, wanapigia masimu MCA, wewe ukionekana na fulani, wewe ukiwa rafiki wa fulani, tutakufungulia kesi, utapelekwa kuotini, utashtakiwa, hata kama una makosa utashtakiwa. Na wanaweka hofu kwa viongozi, kwa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Hiyo ni siasa duni. Ruto going out guns blazing, threatening to name and shame those allegedly being used against him. Very soon we will call them out. They must stop the nonsense they are engaged in of making telephone calls to people, to leaders, blackmailing people left, right and center. If they are men enough, let them come forward and face me. Let them not hide behind shadows and behind telephone calls. If it was not for William Samoy Ruto, Bere Amungu, Uhuru Kenyatta will not be president today. That one I can say without the fear of contradiction. Kutumia nguvu vibaya ya katiba kudhulumu watu hayo ni mambo hatutaweza kuyakubali. But a section of Kieleweke leaders led by nominated MP Maina Kamanda and Kiambu Governor James Nyoro told off the deputy president calling on him to step aside for investigations into the fake military supplies tender scam and the killing of an officer attached to his office. Mimi ningekuwa ninaona kuna jama na selekani ambao ninafanyia kazi. Kazi yaku ni kujiuzuri nitoke kwa sababu kama umefika kiwango hiyo ya, ya kuwa unaona ya kwamba kuna shida uh, ujodoe. Lakini jamaa anajua shida ambao zinamfuata kutoka Kimwalel kutoka sasa hii mambo yote ni ya yeye mwenyewe mambo yote ikitoka kwa DCI inaenda kwa director of uh, prosecution we have to respect those institutions the more we are berating them the more we are ridiculing them the more we are going to be in trouble It Kieleweke leaders have a waiver termed Ruto's latest outburst as diversionary and want DCI allowed to conclude investigations. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.